the immigration system is not managed by us, it's managed by the immigration department. So that's one of the things we're working to change, is to, is to wire the immigration system and to bring them under our network and to host their servers in our data center. Um, what that does, is it, 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 it removes the connection and the conflict of interest between where a uh, an employee of a department also has access to the information system. So we are removing those throughout government. I mentioned in my, in my speech that we're already working at bringing the custom systems under our, under our management. And when I say management, it doesn't mean that we will be doing customs work. It means that we will be managing the system from a system administrator standpoint to ensure that there's security and that there's not access for people that shouldn't access it. We're also working with the lands department to move the land folio system over. That's a big job because, of course, all the cadastral maps and everything, it's a lot of data. So we're moving those over. So our plan is to bring all these government systems under one network. We're about 65% there, and we work every day. Every day our guys are, are out running the wires and putting in the, the fiber optic networks to be able to bring those systems online so that we can all be up behind one secure network. To answer your question, our plan is to not have specific departments manage their own systems in the future.